Hey guys, it's Appear and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up dual monitors in Windows Vista. Uh, so, I'm just going to be using a, a slideshow like, through the Windows Gallery thing because I had to take a bunch of pictures uh, which I obviously can't use a screen recorder for. So, I'm going to use Windows Gallery, as I said, to show you those pictures. Um, and I haven't prepared anything fancy or anything, but yeah. So, obviously, what we're looking at how to do is set up dual monitors. Now, before you even can think about setting up dual monitors, you know, buying that second screen, or if you've already got it, installing it and everything, you need to know one crucial thing. Does your video card support dual monitors? Okay. Um, this is just a picture I took. It's kind of blurry, I know. I'm sorry about that. Um, my camera really isn't fantastic and it's been acting really weird but it gets the point through basically um, as you can see here I've got um, one big plug and another empty slot okay which tells us that I have two slots which tells us again that my video card supports dual monitors so what you need to do right now is go and look uh, at the back of your computer and see if your um, it will be at the bottom pretty much where all the expansion slots are um, go and look down there see if you can find your video card if you can't find it just pull on the cables at the back of your monitor um, and you should see a reaction down at the back of your computer and once you find your video card if it has two slots um, you don't want a circular slot like this one is okay you want uh, a rectangular slot with the little um, screw-ins, okay? So if your video card has two of those, then your uh, video card supports dual monitors. Next thing, of course, is finding two monitors. So the first monitor I have is my 22-inch um, my one, which is the one I've always used with this computer in particular. And the second one I have is just one I won um, in uh, a raffle, and I sold off the computer, but I kept the monitor for the dual monitor setup. Okay, so I obviously have two monitors. Um, if you don't have two monitors, you can't do this. You have to wait until you have two monitors, obviously. Uh, the next thing is to look at um, the pin on your monitor. Okay, on the on the cord that comes out of your monitor, actually, not on your monitor. Um, I'm assuming one monitor is already installed, so I'm only going to talk about the pins for one monitor. Um, but you can pretty much reference everything I say for this one monitor to the other monitor as well. Now, as you can see here, my plug has four, four, and five. So eight plus five is obviously 13, so it's a 13 pin, I think it's 13, there might be some I just can't see because of the image quality. Um, so my plug has 13 pins, but if I just hop back quickly, this um, slot looks like it has a lot more than 13 pins, okay? So um, basically the problem is I have what's known as a, I think it's a VGA um, plug, but the slots uh, in my graphics card are DVI slots, the more new modern ones. Um, so how do I get, because obviously this is a very old screen I'm dealing with here, if you take a look at it, it's a big uh, CTR, I think it's CTR screen. Um, so yeah, pretty darn old. So that's why it's got this old VGA uh, plug. But um, if you have a graphics card which has either VGA or DVI slots and then you have a screen which has the opposite of that slot all you need to do is go out to the shops um, I actually got this with one of my screens but if you didn't then go out to the shops and buy one of these okay this is an adapter now if you look at the back here well you can't really see but I'll just tell you um, on the back here we have what I'm guessing is 13 pins from counting. Uh, we have a 13 pin slot 
okay so that that's where our 13 pin VGA plug would plug into and on the front here we have uh, however many pins the DVI um, slot takes so this will um, efficiently convert our VGA plug into a DVI plug and now we'll be able to plug our um, our cable into our graphics card if you have a DVI but your slot is VGA obviously get an, an adapter which is appropriate Okay, uh, and this is just showing the VGA plug plugged into the adapter. So you need to screw those things on as well. Make sure you screw them on to keep it secure, uh, and then you can then plug that into um, the graphics card, which is uh, not what we do next. Actually, I'm thinking that, but it's not. Uh, the next thing we need to do is find the power cable for the monitor and plug the uh, mains plug into our. Um, our mains slot and then plug the other end into the actual monitor okay and finally the last thing we need to do is just plug the uh, the cable which comes out of the monitor and is attached to it not the power cable the other cable uh, the VGA or DVI cable into the graphics card and you can't see it uh, but there is the adapter is actually on the end. You can just see the white there. That's the DVI adapter, and the VGA cable is plugged into the back of that. Okay, and make sure you screw the adapter on as well. That needs to be screwed on. Uh, so the last thing to do is just um, switch on the monitor, uh, and. That is the end of this slideshow. Now we can get into the actual stuff where you do uh, the actual stuff on the computer. Um, now, what you might find is when you try and follow this along, it doesn't actually work. Okay, that's not because it's not working, uh, and believe me, I know. Um, it's because you might just need to restart the computer to sort of refresh it, you know? So if it's not working, restart the computer, and you may find after you, when you boot it on, it will automatically detect it, and it will enable it. So yeah, if it doesn't know, then you just follow along the steps, and it should work. Uh, if that doesn't work, then the only thing I can say is there's something wrong with your monitor. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get uh, a move on. So what you need to do now is right-click on your current monitor, and click Personalize. This is the monitor that is working. Okay go ahead and click uh, display settings okay and here we can see this is where we modify the resolution and all that now on the top here we can see one and two these are the two um, possible slots for uh, monitor input and simply all we need to do to enable our monitor is either click this or right click it and click attached or click it and click extend the desktop onto this monitor I'll just right click attach and if you click apply you might have heard that I'm not entirely sure probably didn't it wasn't loud enough but my monitor just started up there and I can see my desktop background coming onto the screen and um, I will have a picture I annoyingly didn't take that before I recall this tutorial but I'll have a picture of you and you can see how it works um, but uh, just to demonstrate it is what actually working you can see I can move my a window all the way off the screen and move it all the way back on and stuff so that just shows it is actually working um, so anyway guys I'll have that picture up but for now over and out